What's up guys, welcome back to The Scott Barnes Show. And in today's video, I wanted to tell you a great story about how I fought off a shoplifter. hoo -ah. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when the best and awesome videos come out from yours truly, Scott Barnes. Now we're gonna make this a short and sweet video. And I've mentioned this, I think on another one that I've done, but I wanna kind of break down and tell you what happened on the day I went to Home Depot. Now to start this story off, my girlfriend wanted to build a chest deep freeze plunge. And that's where you do these ice plunges where you sit in the deep freeze, full of water, you sit in there for three minutes, you go in the sauna, it's called Fire Nights, it's pretty cool, go look it up. So everything was pretty much set in the project, we needed to get some extra JB Weld before we were filling up with water and we decided to go to Home Depot. So it was a glorious 98 billion degrees here in Houston with 100% billion humidity, lovely. And as we pull up to Home Depot, we're getting out of the car, we go and see ourselves one of those manly push carts, right? And we notice upon our arrival into the sliding glass doors, we see a manager walking out with some gentleman with a box. So I see one of the Home Depot employees ask this guy for a receipt. And I look at my girlfriend, my girlfriend's looking at me, and I'm like, do I need to take care of this situation? And she's like, hell yeah. <laughs> so I put my head down, I'm like, all right, here we go. So I go over, talk to the manager, I'm like, hey, what's going on? What's happening? And he's telling me like, this guy's stealing this nail gun and I'm looking at him too. And I'm like, do you want me to get it from you? And he's like, well, I can't ask you. And then they, you know, he's like, and I can't do it. So I'm kind of like between a rock and a hard place. So I go ahead and put my Batman suit on. I walk over to the gentleman as he's kind of like rushing away and uh, he doesn't have his getaway car. And I'm like, brother, come on, just I'll walk with you back, give it to me and you can go along your way. So he circles around this dumpster and I follow him around, I'm in my Crocs out of all things, and he starts walking back towards Home Depot trying to look for his ride. So I find my moment as he's walking back to Home Depot looking for his ride, he picks up the phone where I'm like, hey, this is my opportunity. He brings it up to his ear and he's like, brother, where are you? And quick me comes along and boop, pops it right out of his arms. I grab it, I got it, and I head over there. As I look back, he probably could have had a knife or a gun, but hey, I'm willing to risk it, right? I mean, like that's who I am. I, I'm, I'm Mr. Vigilante, I'm gonna take care of the problem. And as I got the package, I'm walking it back. I don't know where he left, you know, he ended up or left off, but I'm walking back. The manager's just having a ball. He's kicking up and screaming, having a good time. You know, one of the other guys, who's like, right on, man. So all in all, it was a safe ending. But here's the fun part, right? We're in Home Depot and the manager and one of the floor guys is like following us around. He's like, do you need any water? Like bottled water? What's up? What, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? And we're looking around getting some JB Weld and we needed a sander and we're picking up the sander and here he comes running along. He's like, are you going to get that? Is that something you're going to buy? I'm like, yeah, we're thinking about buying it. We'll get it for you. We're like, all right, sweet. You know, I felt like a little bit of a celebrity, I guess. So Wonder Woman that I call her and Batman here, we totally saved the day and it was really cool. I love the fact that she put it on me. She's like, just go take care of it. And I gotta put the big boy pants on and let's go. Cause what's funny is vice versa, she would have done the same thing. Like I'll take care of the action. She takes care of the, uh, the, the verbal conflict, right? I'll just be the action guy. She'll take care of the verbal conflict. It's a very well meshed relationship, let me tell you. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, always like I say, be the superhero of your life, you know, do what's right. And uh, it's really frustrating when you have guys, you know, cause we work so hard to make a living that they gotta go ahead and uh, steal that from us. So anyway, if you guys got any uh, fun feedback or there, if you guys wanna leave a comment, go ahead down there and put one below. But like always, you guys love you. Have a good one. Check me out on all that social media and I will see you on the flip side. See